Yo, yo, it's your boy Fro in the building. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite, very, 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 very favorite movies of all fucking time. No exaggeration. The 1990 flick, Tremors. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. This one's about Val and Earl, played by Kevin Bacon and the late great Fred Ward. These two stay in perfection Nevada, and they're pretty much handymen, getting the everyday work done around town, getting their hands dirty. These two eventually get tired of their work, and decide to leave Perfection and head for Bixby, the nearest town. Just when these two decide to leave, the shit hits the fan. They find an old man named Edgar, dead and stuck up in the tower, and they come to find out that something chased him up there. They're going around town, place to place, checking what's going on. They come across old Fred's farm. There's a really cool scene where there's a hat on the ground. One of them walks up, picks up the hat, and we see the severed face of the old man Fred stuck in the dirt. I will admit this little moment did kind of freak me out as a kid, but a pretty cool visual. Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward are fantastic together. Probably one of the best duos I've ever seen in movie or television history. And that's just me, but that's how I feel. I think they're dynamite. Val's more on the cowboy side, but he's also a goofball slash ladies man. Earl's more on the gruff, tough side, but he still has some pretty funny one-liners as well. Chang? Is it Walter Chang? Yeah, Walter Chang, I'm a psycho. Val and Earl head to the local market of the town, owned by Walter Chang, played by Victor Wong. Here we meet a bunch of our characters, but specifically, the man, Burt Gummer, played by Michael Gross, who's one of the most kick-ass characters in movie history, hands down. Especially in this movie and the second one, which I'm a fan of as well. Burt is a maniac with a huge gun collection, but he's very likable, very charismatic, and has some funny quips and some wisecracks. His wife is played by Reba McIntyre, who I also enjoy in this movie. She plays a pretty cool character. Sadly, they separate in the sequel, but these two had a very nice chemistry in this flick. We also have Nancy with her daughter, Mindy. We have the Mexican homie, Miguel. Really like his character, really cool guy, laid back, chill. There's another guy, Nestor, who's kind of a random guy there. My least favorite character is probably Melvin, the prankster. But the actor does a good job being an asshole. Hey, give me a gun, I'll take one. I wouldn't give you a gun if it was World War III. We have a gal named Rhonda who's studying geology. And she's pretty much monitoring all the seismic activity around perfection. I like Finn Carter as Rhonda. She's smart, fast on her feet, and pretty bubbly at the same time. There's one scene that I really like where they're pole vaulting to get away from the graboids around the mountains on the rocks. They have to pole vault to get to the truck to get out of there. I like that scene. Now, moving on to the Graboids, I love the overall creature design. I can't remember any CGI. I think a huge bulk of the design is prosthetic. Maybe they use a the little computer effects where the Graboids moving through the dirt, but it's never distracting, at least to me, and it never, still to this day. I love when the snake tongues shoot out of the Graboids' mouth and clutch on the people and drag them in. I think it's a pretty brutal death. I always thought that Tremors was pretty gory for a PG-13 flick. Not necessarily with the human deaths, but with the Graboid deaths, how they explode in a gunky, huge chunks of mess. I always thought that was pretty gnarly. The human deaths in the sequel are a little bit more graphic, though. And this one, not so much, but I will say that the deaths are pretty freaky, and they still hold up well to this day. There's also the kick-ass scene where Bert and his wife Heather are shooting at the Graboid that burst through their home, they're grabbing gun after gun after gun and blasting away. I love that fucking scene. It's so epic. The elephant gun that Bert has is sick. Towards the middle to the third act of the film, the grab boys start popping up. They tear apart the market. Our crew of characters, they get together. They manage to move their way to the mountains because they say the grab boys, since they're underground, obviously they can't climb on the rocks. And we have an awesome finale. We have our colorful characters together. The grab boys are waiting the group out. So Val decides to make a run for it, tricks the Graboid, and the fucking Graboid goes flying off the cliff, dives a good amount of feet below into the concrete, 
and explodes into a huge gory mess. Val and Rhonda get together and that's the end of Tremors. This is one of those movies where I feel like no matter what review I do, I feel like I won't do it justice enough because this movie's fucking awesome. I highly recommend that you watch this ASAP. If you see it on any platforms or if you see a Blu-ray of this, if you see any sort of copy, grab it immediately. Put this in your collection. Awesome flick. There's about seven of these fucking movies, and I genuinely love the first two. This one is in a league of its own. To me, this movie is a 10 out of 10. Scratch that, I'm giving this movie an 11 out of 10. And that's a personal pro rating. But yeah, I'm going to land with an 11 out of 10. Um, two to me, I'm going to save the rating for that for a separate review. But I love two as well. Tremors 2 Aftershocks. I always thought it was a very underrated sequel. It was a directed DVD sequel, but I still love it. But that's it, y'all. 11 out of 10 for Tremors. Always going to be one of my favorites. It's one of those movies that's in Fro's heart. Tremors forever. Yes, motherfuckers. And I'm out. Peace. Rest in peace, Fred Ward. Broke into the wrong goddamn rec room, didn't you, you bastard?